Hey Rachelou, dearest Rachie, happy Henry Kent and hello from Malawi. Um, very, very sorry not to be with you this weekend. Um, it looks like Kate has done a fantastic job and I know you'll have just the best time with lots of beautiful, lovely friends. Um, and yeah, we can't wait to see you for the big event. Um, especially given the super duper playlist that they are putting together. Um, so, uh, yeah, Rachel Roo, I wanted to send you lots of love, but more importantly, no Hen Weekend uh, is quite complete without a couple of top threes. And um, so, Paul and I have put together um, two special top threes for you. The first, is a uh, top three Rachie Roo moments. So these are moments that have, we've kind of kept with us over the years, having known you Rachie Roo. Um, so at number three, we've titled this one, yeah, nice to meet you, but actually <laughs> I'm trying to buy a tuna sandwich. And this is the very first moment that Paul and I met you and Dan, Heathrow Airport and um, all excited and nervous uh, about to embark on Big Adventure to Namibia and I think Paul had met Dan uh, a few weeks before at some uh, training gig uh, for VSO and spots you in the airport so he goes over to say hello and then he comes back and I said hey you know, what were they like? Desperate to, desperate to make friends. And he said, yeah, it seems all right, but <laughs> um, yeah, she seemed really preoccupied on which sandwich she was gonna buy. So um, yeah, I think only you'll understand that one, Rachel, but it lives with us every time uh, one of us asks for a tuna sandwich. Uh, number two, we've titled, There's a warthog in the road! And um, yeah, we say that quite a lot out here in Malawi. And that was a very special uh, Rachie Roo uh, thing that she basically said every time we went out uh, on, a, on a road trip. Um, and, uh, and also we remembered the time that uh, Dan, who never drove very fast, but um, we actually got overtaken by ostriches, I think, at one point. But anyway. But at number one in our top three Rachel Roo moments is the Queen Mother's Dead. Bryony, you might remember this one. I can't remember if you were there, but we went for lunch one day in Windhoek. I think someone's parents had come out to visit and we're all having slightly awkward, quite formal lunch. And, um, and we had this long running game where you had to predict uh, who was the next famous person who's going to die. I assume most people play these games, but anyway. And you had as your uh, selection, Rachel, the Queen Mother. And so we're having this uh, yeah, awkward lunch and then at some point someone said to one of the parents, so do you have any news from home? And uh, I think the mother said, well, well, uh, very sadly, the Queen Mother passed away <laughs> last week. And Rachel suddenly, out of nowhere, just stood up. Yes, yes, yes! Um, obviously, because you'd won that particular round of the game, much to the shock uh, of the uh, parents who obviously had no idea why you were so delighted. Uh, at the sad news. So that's is, is our uh, our top rage view moment uh, that lives with us forever. Um, and then if you can take any more, we've also jotted down uh, top three rage and Dan moments. Um, at number what number three work backwards is travels with Red Sea. Um, and just happy days really. Uh, I haven't really got a story that goes with Red Sea, although I'm sure there's plenty of them. Um, just happy days. At number two, Super Wednesday. So every Wednesday we took it in turns uh, to go to each other's house and 
cook delicious food uh, but, um, and of note of course was Daniel's uh, orange uh, orange and chocolate cake which actually was just an orange inside a chocolate cake completely inedible and I think Paul's top moment was his sweet potato pudding <laughs> equally disastrous but very happy days but then our number one Rachel and Dan moment and we couldn't remember if it was a Rachel moment or Rachel and Dan moment um, and Bryony you will remember this uh, so we go to visit you Bryony up in the north in Namibia and um, with some of the friends who had made some some hors d'oeuvres uh, before we had dinner and we think they were tinned mussels but can't quite remember but yeah not great and uh, so uh, said friend is handing out these hors d'oeuvres and Paul having <laughs> popped his muscle in his mouth bleh, very quickly spits it out and then as he spits his out his hand <laughs> as the friend walks back in the room who shall remain unnamed and then so he's got it behind his as uh, she's handing out more of these hors d'oeuvres and uh, waiting for his moment to check it out the window only to be completely busted by both Rachel and Dan who uh, said, I don't know whether you <laughs> some people have to start shaking hands with each other um, but anyway, it was revealed that Paul had these muscles in his hand again, probably only funny if you're there but um, that's one of our top top moments uh, that we remember so all very special moments from and very happy days from Namibia um, and then since then um, yeah you guys are just the best we've had so many happy days in Cornwall camping and visiting you in lovely sunny 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 Plymouth um, and of course beautiful beautiful Maisie is just a testament to what amazing parents uh, you both are um, and this last year oh get sad uh, emotional um, but Rachel you have shown us all um, just yeah um, I have to say it, you are an amazing amazing inspiration and um, you know battling through the year you've had with such you know your love of life and your strength are just second to none so Rachel um here's to you I'm sorry I'm not dressed in tinsel um but I shall go and pour a very big glass of wine and I can't wait to see you guys it's gonna be so much fun and wishing you all of all our love and take care lots of love